Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Thomas Was Alone. This is going to be episode 4 of the series, so I hope that you've been watching it and keeping up because I had just deleted uh, the old episode 4, so I get, to, uh, I get to do it again. So let's see, we are on invert 5.1, so let's start this on up. So essentially, oh, hold on. The initial five are usually given credit for emergence. People forgot the later architects, the AIs who made the event possible. They saved Thomas and set him on the path to his destiny. So basically, what happened, um, a lot of our people got all mixed up and uh, separated. So now we are greeted by James. Different. I'm not different in that kooky... OMG, you've totally got to meet my mate James, he's literally insane, kind of way. Oh. So here's James. He is upside down. And that's how he rolls. Um, because he hates physics and how physics operates in the real in the real world. So he's just going to uh do his own thing here. What is Ah, oh, damn it. Okay. So, what's a little bit hard? I mean, obviously I'm controlling, I'm making him go to the right with, you know, obviously the right button, but it just it feels weird because I'm pressing up to jump, which is actually him going down. So, it's a little bit messy with my head. Seen anyone else in a long time. Not since getting eaten by that cloudy pixely thing. He turned up here in some kind of cage. Oh, James, you mess with my head. Okay. So, going on and completing this level shouldn't be too difficult. It's kind of a jerk. I had... I certainly had some difficulty in the first time. Oh, God, oh, God. We got now. <laughs> what? It's taking a long time. Kind of surprised I got that. All right. So, this is... Okay, there we go. Nah, that wasn't too bad. And we will finish this level off really quick compared to how slow I did it the first time around. Oh well. 5.3. Uh oh. Alright. James liked being alone. No one to insult him or question his unique disregard for Newtonian laws. Oh. Hey Jimmy, where are you going? Up! <laughs> Hell yeah. Okay, so. This game, it's still, it, uh, it'll play with your heartstrings. You know, obviously James was made fun of as a wee boy, I suppose, in his adolescence. I don't know if he was a smaller rectangle at that point, or if he just naturally came out this way. I don't know, came out of what? The little red guy hey, hey, looked confused. Thomas. His cage was a lot smaller than James's had been. Well, let's bust them out. James decided to find a way to help. Maybe they'd be friends. They should be friends. Look, they're the same damn size. Green and orange? That makes sense, right? I like those colors. Uh oh. Don't jump too far. Okay. Crisis averted. Hey, buddies. Thomas had no idea why he was here. Hmm. One minute he was with his friends, the next he was being freed from a cage by a green guy with a nervous laugh. <laughs> he knew he had to get back to them. Well, what about the green guy? We like James. He's probably as good as Thomas. And... Geronimo! Okay. What are His we doing here? His hero seemed uncomfortable. Thomas imagined he'd feel the same way if he fell upwards all the time. <laughs> If he didn't know better, he'd have thought James didn't want to meet everyone. Why not? James is a cool guy. Let's, uh... Let's move on over. I don't know if I'm doing that right. But don't judge me. Don't judge me! Okay. Now, just gotta complete this level. There we go. Oh, no, 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 no! Oops. Little, little overshot there. Sometimes I get a, <clears throat> a little too excited. End up going right on over. 
Okay. This level is butt cheeks and a half. Alright. Oh! It's because I tend to murder myself just like that. Who would have who would have thunk? Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Moving platforms. Let's go, James. You're better than these platforms. Actually, let's get let's get Thomas over there. I like the to have him in equilibrium. Just kind of moving on the same obstacles at the same time. It's nice. This was working. James and Thomas working together could get anywhere. Well, yeah. James didn't seem to understand the immense ability he possessed. And he's dude. He goes upside down and all over the place. It's a great ability. Ability of the year, all years, upside down. V v v v v v style. I think I put too many V's in there, but that's okay. You guys get the idea. Thomas wondered why the cloud thing had brought them both here. Probably because you guys were destined to be awesome together. That's just my theory on it all. Alright. I guess I can go in here. But I always like, you know, just messing with the game. See what exactly I can do, couldn't do. Because I can make him go up here, and he can hang out. Oh wait, no. I can't. I can't go any further. That's silly. I don't like that one bit. I feel constricted. Like a boa constrictor. Except not- Oh! Did I die there? No. Neat. I got my- got my head a little wet though. Just wanted to get the hair wet. Just a little damp it. Damp it up. Style it a little bit better. Where am I going? What am I- what am I doing here? James grudgingly helped Thomas to each portal. Queen grudgingly. He eventually they'd find the others. And oh. Then he'd go back to being the weird one again. He's not that weird. He decided to enjoy the time they had left. Ah, oh, stop being so sad all the time. Game. I don't want to be sad about these characters. I mean, I want to, because I like having that connection. But, man, you can't can't be moping all the time. It just, it just brings me down. There's one thing that I don't like. It's being brought down. I'm a, I'm a pretty jovial dude. So, I don't do sadness too well. Where am I going? I don't know. Let's put Thomas down here. Go down there. Go home. Wait, did I do that wrong? Wait. Where am I? What am I doing? Where to go? Oh, silly me. Alright. There we go. Now we'll get James down here. Get Thomas down here to help. Oh, no, no! Oh. I have to go up all the way? Ah! Alright. I need to stop, uh, stop getting overexcited. Apparently the ladies don't like that either. That's okay. We'll just get on down. Moving on down to the east side. Okay. So can I do something? Did I did I mess this up again? Maybe. Oh! Okay, so you up, you know. Okay. And Okay. Let's try. Maybe I could do something real quick here. <laughs> oh, I can't believe that freaking works. <laughs> Go me. I am super awesome. Okay. Now we will continue going downwards. Oh. Is it? Okay. So I'm supposed to go there. Well, Tom is supposed to go there. James probably has to go a little bit further. There he is. Hey, can I get my hair wet again? Yeah, I like that. Okay. Level accomplished. Bam! 5.9. What you got? Nothing. Bunch of spiked things that want to murder me. What else is new? What else? Come on, Why James. Did Thomas even want to spend time with James? Was he not repulsed by his weird color? Ah, uh, he had a pretty awesome color, I thought. Green and orange, man. These are... Sweet. Oh no! I like these colors. Oh god! I can do it. I 
I can. I got this. Do not care about his no inversions. I like your inversions. You got sweet, sexy inversions. I would non-invert all over your inversions. Does that make sense? You got perversions about your inversions. That is, it's pretty wrong, but I like it, so I'm gonna keep it. We're gonna we're gonna keep that in the old catalog of dumb things that Jay Smith says, and uh, you know, hang out. Okay. So I got my two bros, broing out, moving across. I think this is yeah, this is the way I gotta go. Cause there's nothing up here, and there's probably nothing down here. But we'll investigate. A little never hurt anyone to uh, just take a look around, right? James. Uh oh. Was having fun for the time being. Of course you're having fun. Look at you. you Inverting all over the place. Okay. That kind of sounds sexual. Inverting all over the place? Yeah. Oh, there I go again with all the sexual innuendos. Don't mind me. Hey, hey. Awareness is a word that gets thrown around a lot. And a lot of other people consider Thomas to have been created aware. Looking back at the logs, it seems that awareness only happens somewhere around the network connection spike. Tara leaned her wizened head back and laughed. Huh. <laughs> the quadrilaterals were apparently after some friends of theirs. How petty an adventure. So, we have Sarah now. And Sarah is a little freaking firecracker. Not literally, but she has... She's, she's pretty eccentric, I would say. And she has a pretty awesome double jump as well. She's a little bit smaller than Thomas and James, but she's got a heart of gold, I believe, anyway. She spoke in terms she could only hope they might understand of the fountain of wisdom, <laughs> channel through which all data flowed. Data. Data. Come on. So can we just pronounce it data, please? Data isn't a word, unless you're talking about, like, that Dota game. What is it? Uh... Defense of the Ancients. People call that Dota, some people call it Dota. We talk about that a lot in the whole saving progress. Northern Lion seems to like that game, but no one can uh, agree on how it's actually pronounced. Is that it? I don't want to... I like exploring, I want to see more things. Oh god, I don't want to die. I died. That's okay. Apparently, I don't have to start at the beginning of the world, so we'll just go on in there. Thank you, Sarah. You were lovely. Sarah could leap in the very air itself. She was like an eagle or a flea. An eagle or more like a more, fleagle. More like an eagle. Fleagle. She had vowed long ago that she would know this world. She would know what this world was. And she, Sarah, would know how to escape. Well, she hasn't really done a whole bang-up job escaping yet. But maybe we can uh, persuade her how to do that a little bit better. The red one, who spoke wisely for a oh. lesser, offered Sarah a lesser. Help, so long as she then helped them save their friends. Uh oh, uh oh. Oh! He said that ah, no, I'm he stuck. He had wondered at the secrets of this hey. world. No, stop but being like stuck. A go on the wisdom fountain. Wisdom that fountain. Was okay. I'll give you a wisdom fountain. Sarah oh. marveled oh. at his <gasps> foolishness. Oh, hey. But okay. Accepted his Thank God that thing's there. Sarah, you're a wild, wild lady. Wild purple rectangle. I hope you know that. Oh, hey. Bam! I love the music. Sarah wondered at the possibilities of the outer world. She had heard legends of a third dimension. Legends of the hidden temple. She'd encounter one of those curves the blind square had spoken of. The blind square? It's a weird freaking square if he's blind. Okay, Thomas, you go up here. And then you, lovely two, can get on your marks. And then James? You're gonna die! No, I'm just kidding. You're gonna go over here. Ha <laughs> ha! Scared ya! 6-6? Six, six? The number of the beast! Okay, I'm sorry. Alright. We are going to go up. 
weird. <laughs> a single jump each? These were truly weak creatures. No. They possess heart, though. Yeah. Sarah might consider taking them with her. Oh, that's nice if of you. They were up to it, which they were probably not. BS. We're always up to it. Like your mother. It was up to her. Mr. Announcer Man, think you're so much cooler than me with your British accents and stuff. Well, I got news for you, sir. I'm gonna beat the hell out of this game for you. Okay. And James can go over there. Sarah can go over there. And let's just, uh, let's get Thomas up there. Go through the old portals. Ye old portals, as I like to refer to them as. Okay, and there we go. What kind of conundrum could we be into this time? Oh, what is this? Where's everyone else? Okay, so you're here. They were close. You need to be Sarah, over here. Sense the presence of the fountain. Yeah. Just one more portal to go, and then wait a minute. She would have the knowledge. How do I? And then get down there. Escape. Oh. Get. Nope. All right. How do I do this? Nope. Nope. That didn't work. Do. Nope. That didn't work either. Nope. Come on. Arr. Okay. So if you don't want to do that, you gotta do it. You gotta figure something out, right? No. Maybe. Ha. Huh. So is this? Oh, nope. Get up there. Okay. So all three of you can hang out together. Alright, Sarah, go over there. Very, very lovely. Good job, sweetie. Hey, get back over there. Oh, no! No! Oh, <laughs> not again. Okay. I'm gonna, oh, no, oh, that's actually probably a little bit better. Maybe not. Nope, maybe not. Nope. Okay. So let's get James back over here, Sarah over here, and Thomas, once again. Hero of the group, the man they call Thomas. He's more of the rectangle than a man. He's a man of a rectangle, that's for sure. Okay. Oh, that was, that was a little bit too close for comfort there. Okay. Mini jump, mini jump. No. Too high. Let's see. Yeah, there we go. Wasn't perfect, but it worked sufficient enough for the purposes Thomas I needed. Looked at the glowing beam. Hey, that list he'd been writing seemed pretty petty now. One of these pictures looks this? like. Well, this was all knowledge, all of it, right in front of him. I think I see Michael A. L. Fox he in these pictures. Sorry, Sarah couldn't step into it too. Wait, what? He could tell she felt the same way from the shouting. Oh no! And the screaming. Wait, Sarah can't get it. That was her job. She wanted to get in there. Huh. Well, that's no good. Thomas is all alone. Alright. Okay, so, episode or 6.9. seconds, and he had seen everything. What's that? Seen the cats who couldn't spell. He'd heard of the arrow through the knee. <laughs> he felt there was probably a thing called cake, but that was a lie. Cake's always a lie. Well, looks like <laughs> Thomas found the internet. Oh god, and what a crazy, wonderful place that it is. So I'm gonna get up here. Okay, just double jump, I guess. And we will do the same thing here. And uh, I guess we can go over here. Maybe somewhere else. Where do I want to go? Let's get James under here. And then you can hit your head off of that. Thomas, one more time. Jamesy boy, you will go all the way over here to the right. Sarah, you and Thomas get to hang out over here on the left. Cause you're cool. You're cool people. I like yes. Oh, hey, look at this. Six point ten. Thomas knew where they were. Well, six point one. He knew really what they had to do. 
What do they have to do? The others would understand. I don't understand. Just beyond the next portal. What's beyond the next portal? Can we already talked about the cake not being alive. Oh my god, it's freaking out, man. Okay. I want Thomas to jump on Sarah. Oh, no. Jump. There we go. And let's do that. Nope. Can't do that as much as I wanted to. Can I? There we go. Alright. So, Thomas, Sarah, and Jamesy boy. Bam! Oh yeah, it's looking like we get everyone back. But that's for next time. It is fitting that the first act of Sandy and AI was an act of selflessness. The architect knew their fate, but to set our escape in motion regardless. So that is going to be the end for this episode. Thank you all so much for watching. You know I love when you guys hang out with me. But that will be it for me. If you guys want to contact me outside of YouTube, I'm always available on Twitter. It's jsmith underscore OTI. But please leave me comments, feedback, anything that you want to post. Feel free to do that. Ask me any comments, questions, concerns, anything that you have on any one of those social networks. And also check out me on Saving Progress if you are interested in that. We have a really awesome forums set up just for people like you. So I think that'll be it. Thank you guys, as always, and I'll catch you next time. See ya!